Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I gotta like that, I always have my own bag Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel I hope you are all doing amazingly well So in today's video we're going to be talking about super long lasting perfumes But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up And let me know what your scent of the day is If you have a moment, kindly scan the QR code on the screen And also follow me on Instagram The QR code will take you directly to my Instagram where you can just click the follow button and show me some love. I would really, really appreciate it. So before we start this video, I'm going to share my lip combo of the day. Um, I'm using this lip um, liner by a brand called Eloise. They are on TikTok. They also have a website. I will have it linked below. This I have no affiliation to them whatsoever. I just absolutely love their products. And this lip liner... Um, it comes like that you don't have to sharpen it and the color is kind of like a mauve pink sort of so that's my lip liner of the day and i'm going to share my lip gloss this one is by fenty and it's a super popular one fuchsia flex i feel like this looks like nice on everybody i have seen this on every skin tone possible and it looks amazing on every single person i love the formula doesn't feel sticky it's definitely very glossy as you can see it's a really really good formula i highly recommend it i'm going to share 10 incredible perfumes i have some noise going on outside please try to ignore that if you can hear it my apologies there's just some road works going on at the moment but i didn't want that to deter me from making a video for you guys so i have 10 perfumes here and i feel like if you are looking for a super long lasting perfume if you want a perfume that would literally not particularly enter the room before you do but you will smell it up on yourself and a lot of people will smell it on you now this is not going to be in any particular order i'm going to describe the perfumes the occasion and how long it lasts so i'm going to kick it off with my scent of the day which is oud bouquet by lancome i have already gone through a whole bottle of this perfume I love this perfume for several reasons. It is a sweet oudy scent with a lot of vanilla and praline. It's a fantastic release. I feel like there's no one out there that likes a sticky sweet oudy scent that would not love this perfume. A little goes a long way. It's beast mode performance. It's compliment getting. You cannot go wrong with Oud Bouquet by Lancome and it lasts about 10 hours plus on my skin. The next perfume is Elisab, Girl of Now. I absolutely love this perfume. This is a nutty, almondy, pistachio scent with a lot of almond, with a lot of cashmere. And it has a honey type feel to it, almost like a honey dew in a sense. Um, it's got some caramel like qualities as well. This smells super, super synthetic. Like it, it literally smells like a fake scent but it's a really nice one if that makes any sense longevity on this to me it's literally 10 hours plus like i overspray though i will say that i do overspray this perfume because i just i just want people to smell me i want to smell myself but you don't need to do that i'm just extra like that but girl of now is one of the strongest designer perfume and this actually came out in 2017 and i don't know why i thought it was out a lot earlier than that um there is two flankers there is the girl of now forever and girl of now shine they are all really lovely it just depends on what you're into but i feel like this one is the gold, most gourmand one of the three i do have a video um comparing the three if you're interested i will link it up there and also in the description box below so yeah that is girl of now by elisab next we have alien by mugla this perfume is so beast mode it's so powerful it literally leads the way before you enter the room i absolutely love this perfume you get people who love the angel and you get people who love the alien i'm a bit of both i love both perfumes i do have the old formulation here it's very strong it's got a super intense jasmine opening and dry down it's very ambery it's like an ambery super super strong white floral scent 
you have to like florals to enjoy this you have to love jasmine to enjoy this for me i'm not the biggest jasmine lo lover in the perfume i find it to be quite indolic a lot of the time and sometimes it comes off a little bit animalic which it kind of does in this perfume but i love it nevertheless if you are looking for a more toned down version you can get the new formulation which isn't as powerful it isn't as strong but it's still going to get you a good maybe seven to eight hours whereas this one is literally giving me 24 hours this perfume is so so strong it's been in my collection for a few years it's macerated so much so the 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 strength is heightened now this is probably the strongest white floral perfume in my collection like i don't have to spray a lot i am slowly <laughs> using it at the moment because they don't do they don't make them like this anymore and i really love this perfume i probably won't repurchase it anymore because like i want to try newer perfumes but if i miss it later on down down the line somewhere i may purchase it but if you are looking for a strong floral scent look no further alien is definitely the one to check out the next perfume is casablanca by swiss arabian this is one of those Middle Eastern perfumes that hits the right way for me. I am not a big lover of Middle Eastern perfume. Speaking of Middle Eastern perfume, I'm going to have a video coming out maybe in the next week or two. Picking the Middle Eastern perfumes that I would recommend because for me, a lot of Middle Eastern perfumes opens up really sharp and unpleasant. That's just to my nose. I find that you have to give them time to macerate, to sit in your collection. You have to wait for the dry down. You have to wait for so much to finally get the full essence of the perfume. That's why Middle Eastern perfumes are not for me majority of the time. But the few that I do have in my collection, I love. If you are somebody that wants to ease yourself into Middle Eastern perfumes, I feel like Casablanca is a really good way to go. Now, this to me is a very scrumptious apple caramel kind of scent it smells like dessert to me but it still smells like perfume longevity is unmatched like literally a few sprays will last you 10 hours plus it's a very strong scent but it's not obnoxious it's not it's not offensive again i'm gonna go in with video instant perfumes i find them to be offensive majority of the time which is the reason why i've put together a list of middle eastern perfumes that i truly enjoy from first spray till dry down and i'm going to share that with you guys i i'm not trying to jump on a bandwagon or anything like that but i've always had middle eastern perfume in my collection i've not had many but i've always had them in my collection i've been speaking about casablanca for years it's one of the few that i really feel like i got my teeth into because it was just so pleasant in the first spray i love it so much i feel like it's a really good perfume for autumn and winter you can't wear it during the spring months in the evening though um because it's very heavy it's a strong scent it's a stunning scent and it does not break the bank so that is casablanca by swiss arabian next we have ambrosia imperial by ai the great and navitas performs i am obsessed with this perfume this smells like bananas it's spicy it's very sweet but it's not cloying it's a compliment beast i remember the first time i wore this to work literally everybody from when i got in the lift to when i got out of the lift like i had so many compliments from people there is nothing like this in my collection this is banana done right i feel like a lot of brands are starting to infuse banana no into their perfumes and not everyone has gotten it right in my opinion i feel like ai really killed it with this perfume i don't I don't have any other Navitas. I have a lot of Navitas in my collection, and um, Navitas perfumes, but this one is my favorite. I feel like this is the best Navitas perfume that has ever been created. The ones I've tried anyway, nothing beats this. A lot of their perfumes are lovely, but this really, really, really stands out to me because I feel like AI went out of, she literally just did something out of the box, outside of the box, like things that I think a lot of brands shy away from doing i feel like she really got herself involved with the creativity of this perfume and i feel like it really did something special and i love it it's long lasting like i said like it's not even if you don't oh my god <laughs> even if you're not into bananas you are going to love the scent of this it's a ripe fruity sweet spicy all year round all occasion absolutely special perfume 
I love it. So that is Ambrosia Imperial by A.I. the Great and Navitas. Next we have 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. Absolutely adore this perfume. This opens up with a burst of tuberose. Yes. Tuberose is not a, a fragrance note that I personally love. But when it's done right, I can't get enough of it. And it's done right in this perfume. Now, this is a white floral with a ton of vanilla. It's also slightly woody in the dry down. You get some gardenia. You get orris, which kind of brings out the powderiness in this perfume. It opens up with a note of peach. But I don't really detect that so much. I feel like I get a lot of tuberose in the opening. It gets very floral before you start getting the vanilla and the woodiness, which is just so so perfect i feel like it's a well-rounded perfume definitely one for all year round longevity is absolutely insane the projection is average this is not a loud scent but it's a long-lasting perfume so that is under silent ways by nishane next we have roses Vini by mancera i could not do this list without adding this perfume i could never do a long lasting perfume list without putting in roses Vini because it would just be unfair it would be wrong because this perfume just is it's loud it's but it's loud in the best possible way i don't find it obnoxious i've heard people say it's too strong but is there such thing as too strong like it's a smooth enough it's not sharp it's not going to tingle your nose in a negative way it tingles slightly but that's when you overspray it this is a ton of roses uh, like a lot of vanilla you get something a little bit woody and sharp in the base but i don't mind it some people might mind it i think that comes with the dna of mancera and montar fragrances they, there's a little bit of a sharpness to them but I think it's not too much. Like, I feel like it's well blended in my opinion. If you wanted to get any Mancera perfume, this would be the one I would already, always recommend. So that is Roses Vini by Mancera. Next, we have Coco Noir by Chanel. This is one of my favorite Chanel perfumes ever. I find this perfume to be very bossy. Like, it feels very like I am a boss babe. I am doing well. I got my things together. I got my life in order. This is what this perfume gives to me. Um, in terms of scent, it's very patchouli heavy. So for me, I get a lot of fruits like citruses. I get some rose and I get a blast of patchouli. If you are a patchouli lover, you are going to love this. If you are not a patchouli lover, you may actually hate this perfume because the patchouli is, it has no chill in this perfume. It's very powerful. It's super long lasting. I wouldn't say it's a compliment magnet, but people have complimented me wearing this perfume. I don't wear it often because of how strong it is and because... The only place I'd wear it to is if I was doing something serious. Like if I was going to, I don't know, an occasion of some sort. It's not a grab and go kind of scent in my opinion. But it's definitely one that I feel like it's a classic. It's one that you need to have in your collection. Well, you don't need to have any perfume in your collection. But if you are thinking of a very sophisticated type of scent. And you like Chanel but you find that some of their perfumes to be dated. You can get this one. I will always recommend this one and Chance or Tundra. I feel like those two are one of the best Chanel perfumes, but there's something really like very elevated about Coco Noir. The next perfume is Jimmy Choo, I Want You Forever. I love this perfume because it's one of the few cherry perfumes that I find to be so addictive, so inviting. It opens up with a bright citrusy scent it has um, bitter almond in the opening as well you get a lot of rose you get vanilla it's slightly woody and it also has a note of oak moss in the base which gives it a sort of earthiness but that's that doesn't disrupt the sweetness of this perfume upon first spray you're definitely gonna get that cherry is sweet it's sour it's bitter but it's sweet again it's just not cloying which i find to be so amazing I feel like for a designer perfume, this is literally top tier. I like the original. I feel like they've made the original for day and the I Want You Forever for nighttime. Um, it's definitely great for date night. Like this is going to get you compliments from a first date. You can wear it on a first day, on a special occasion. This could even be a birthday scent. Like it's such a, 
a wonderfully crafted perfume that I will actually say not to overspray because the cherry comes out a lot and sometimes too much cherry can cause a medicinal type scent so i would say spray as normal maybe 10 sprays 12 sprays that's normal for me for you it might be five but for me i think 12 sprays is normal for a perfume of this caliber um but if you wanted it to be like super beast mode you don't care if people choke when you walk past then do 25 30 sprays spray as you wish but just just know that the more you spray the more the cherry can come off a little bit medicinal at least that's what happened to me it's a bit uh billy in a sense but if you over if you spray it normal you'd be fine um but yeah if you like a cherry perfume or you're someone that's trying to get into like a fruity almondy sort of scent this is definitely a great place to start so that is jimmy Choo. i want you forever <sighs> cherry smoke by tom ford I don't like to mention this perfume much on my channel because I know a lot of people have a problem with the price, <laughs> as do I, but I love this. I love this perfume so much to the point where I prefer this to Lost Cherry. Yes, I know. A lot of people love Lost Cherry, but I would rather this over Lost Cherry. This is a smokier Lost Cherry. This is a spicy Lost Cherry. This cherry just gives me so much depth. It's a strong scent. It's a very, very highly complimented kind of perfume. Every time I wear this, I get a ton of compliments, more than I do with Lush Cherry. Again, the price is not giving. Tom Ford, please, like, ease up on this pricing. The prices are, like, a lot, you know, but I, I save up for what I like. If I can't afford it in the moment, I will save up for it because I, I love luxury. I love perfumes that makes me feel a certain way i want to receive a package and i open it and i get that luxurious experience and that's what tom ford gives like i bought this in store um, i remember i tried it and i didn't think i needed to add it to my collection i got home and my husband was like what is that like something smells amazing on you and i told him it's the new cherry smoke and he goes <laughs> go back and buy it right now and I was like, well, the store would have closed by now. So I literally went back the following day to pick this up because my husband loved it so much. I loved it. And I remember smelling it so much on myself up until I showered that night. Um, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I feel for me, sometimes when I try a perfume in store, I don't necessarily have to buy it in the moment. I go away. I, I, I think about it. And if I feel like I can't get it off my mind, then I'll go back and get it. And that's what Cherry Smoke did. Like, my husband loved it. I love it. I will repurchase this perfume. But it's not going to be for a while because I don't reach for this often. Only because it's so expensive and I'm, a, I'm an oversprayer and I don't want this to finish because then I'm going to have to get three... How much is this perfume? I think it's almost £300, which is like maybe $350 or more. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. It lasts long. I would say if you're looking to get a cherry perfume, put this at number one, at least get your nose on it if you can. So that is Cherry Smoke by Tom Ford. And last but not least is Love Explosion by Zara. You guys can see my dents. If I tell you how many times I wore this perfume, you'd be shocked because I should have more dent in here. But I don't have that much because I don't need to overspray this. This perfume is so strong. It projects so, so much. I remember when I was at work, I went into the toilet. I used the toilet. I came out of the toilet. A couple of hours later, I went back to the toilet because I needed to go again. And I could smell this perfume. Like, I knew that I was the last person to use the bathroom because I could smell this perfume. That is how strong this is. This projects so much. Now, this is a heavy rose. It almost gives a sugary type of sense like when you spray it i literally smell sugar almost like a a rocky candied sugar that's what i get in the opening the dry down is just magical this perfume should be more than 22.99 but i'm glad that it's 22.99 <laughs> um this is a mix between rose gourmand which um which smells like roses musk by montal um and it's mixed with red temptation which is a dupe for baccarat rich 540 so they mixed those perfumes together and came up with love explosion if you have those two perfumes you don't really need this because it's just you don't need it but if you don't have those two 
forget those two and get this one instead so that is love explosion by zara so my lovelies that is it for today's video comment down below your absolutely intensely favorite <laughs> long lasting perfume that you have in your collection put a couple down in the comment section down below i love reading all of your comments thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye